Hey guys, welcome to episode 20 of season 2 here in the F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. It's the season finale. It's the last race of the year and as I start this, I'm planning on doing the off-season at the end of this stream and video. So stick around to the end to make sure that you don't miss out on our new livery, our new engine, and all of the stuff in between seasons, basically. And of course, today, as I record this, uh, and as you are seeing this on stream, the update is out. The latest update, adding Portimao, so we can add that to the calendar for next season in my team, which is timing of per to perfection. Uh, and also, there's been a performance update as well, so we'll wait and see, actually, when we get into save. I haven't checked yet. Uh, what the performance looks like with regards other drivers, other cars. We'll see how quick they are and also perhaps how not so quick they are. We'll have a look at the performance index. We have dropped down the performance index, obviously, and there's been plenty of change over the course of the past uh, few races with us kind of levelling off, slowing down and everybody else catching up. Or Mercedes pulling further away, as it may seem. But we have so many resource points in the bag and so much money to throw into our facilities that we're going to take a big, big, big jump next season. A big jump. Whether it's enough to see us start winning races regularly or challenging for podiums regularly, I'm not sure. Time will tell. But for now, I'm going to go and get my setup. Going to go and start the race, or start practice, sorry, here in Abu Dhabi. And, like I say, hoping, planning on, at least, to do the uh, to do the off-season at the end of this stream and video. So do stick around till the end. Right, I'm going to jump to practice and we'll take it from there. Silent Rogue, thank you very much for the third month, mate. Appreciate it, dude. I'm not going to get any of these practice programs because I suck at this track. And also, this track sucks. It's such a, such an awful Formula One track. It's shit in real life. It's shit on the game. One thirty-two. I'm doing one thirty-two, thirty-four, eight. Time to say goodbye as three practice is over. However, we'll be. Can't wait to upgrade the car for next season. You didn't spend much time practicing. Are you saving your car for the main event? Probably. How do you feel the competition is for you this season? Uh, competition has been absolutely fine. You learned a lot from your rivalry. Uh. <laughs> not really. I've learned that Max Verstappen is faster than me. I don't think there's much else to learn, is it? Right, to qualifying, to hate life even more, and then 50 odd laps of hating life even more. P14. I mean, I'm right next to my teammate, so I guess I guess that's where I should be. But, ugh. Oh no, never mind, teammate just went a lot faster. I was right next to my teammate, then he just went and found another half a second. Wait for P17. Oh, 16. Yeah. Well, that was good timing. 69 months for Phantom Overlord. My guy. Pretty mental timing, wasn't it? And look, I'm right there with Antonio Giovinazzi. And then there's a full another half second to the next group. Definitely a bogey track. Some bogey tracks on this game are bogey tracks because I'm rubbish at them. And some bogey tracks are bogey tracks because the AI are stupidly good at certain segments of them. This is one of the I'm shit at this track bogey tracks. I don't know, is there really any point in me trying to go again? I might just save the tyre wear. I'm going to be starting fucking... I'm not going to find half... I need seven tenths of a second just to go two places. I'm just going to save my tyres. Literally just going to save my tyres. Not even going to bother. We'll start 14th-ish. You guys know how much... 15th-ish. You guys know how much I hate this track. We'll wait and see what happens with... Um, with... Grid penalties. But we will be starting at the very worst 15th. And probably at the very best 
15th as well, because I imagine everybody has taken all their grid penalty. Nobody tends to take a grid penalty in Abu Dhabi, do they? Unless there's something untoward has happened to their car, they've had a massive accident or something of that nature, they've had a failure. It's not necessarily tough luck there. It's not quite where anyone takes any grid, penalties. But chin up, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, but it feels like it because I hate Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Uh, let's see what the grid looks like. Let's run you oh, well, Robert made it through to Q3. A number of a number of the uh, front runners got through to Q3 on mediums, so they're going to be going a long way in the first stint of the race. So two stop here, isn't it? Tire wear's quite high. Should be starting about ninth, I think. Ocon and Calamila. No, Schwartzman's taken a penalty. Shock. No, I'm 12. What? I qualified for... Okay, there's me saying, oh, nobody's going to be taking any grip penalties, really. And then there's loads. Gasly with a grip penalty as well. Latifi, Stroll with a grid penalty. There's been a colour sign starts last. Jesus Christ. Right. Let's aim for a strong finish to the season. I mean, I'll try, Jeff. Uh, we'll probably end up three stopping. We'll probably end up three stopping, but I will try and two stop. Soft, soft, medium is what it reckons we can do. And soft, soft, medium, medium is also an option. There's not too much between the two. So, whoosh. I'll try, medium, medium, you reckon medium, medium, soft? Thank you for the follow, Sonky. Soft, medium, soft. Soft, medium, soft is an option, yeah. Uh, hmm. Could go soft, medium, soft. We'll try that. Soft, medium, soft. We'll underfuel the car a little bit. I imagine I'm going to get lapped here. 55.2 laps. Mm, 55.5. No, 50. Am I going to get lapped? Probably. Okay. 55.4 laps. It's going to be a long one. Soft, medium, soft is what we're going for. Although there may well be an extra pit stop thrown in there because of tire wear so we'll see how it pans out i'm not going to start on the medium so i need to, i need to start on the softs just to keep pace in the early stages otherwise i'll just get left behind people will drs train away from me all right tires are warm tires are warm yeah the driver's title is down to the wire down to this last race there's 18 points i think between bottas and lewis 18 bottas in p1 in the championship lewis in p2 it's a sizable gap but it's not over it's not like either of the Mercedes have had good reliability this year. Look at Daniel go. He's so quick in that McLaren. Whoa! Kimmy, where are you going, pal? Bloody hell. Michael just went for it. Where was it that Mazepin did that? Mazepin did that somewhere. Was it Spa? It wasn't, was it? Mazepin did that somewhere. He just absolutely went for it. Might have been Spa, actually. That's probably some underfloor damage. I'll take advantage of it being a video game a little bit. Try and sneak up the inside of some people. The hairpin. Use my battery a bit to get ahead of... Or at least compete with the McLaren, which evidently I can't do because he's got a slipstream. Oh, it was United States, was it? That's it, it was. It was the United States where he did that. Well remembered. Whoa, Daniel, chill out, mate. Fucking hell. Daniel nearly turned sideways into us there as we were... Coming up the inside. So we're down to P14. Which is... About where we qualified. We qualified 15th, didn't we? Danny Rick's going to go for it on Kimmy, it seems. Kimmy's going to get caught on the apex. 
Got the inside line. No DRS till lap three, of course, as ever. So fast. I could make it three abreast at the end, but I don't think we're going to be able to get there quickly enough. Just going to take a back seat, see what happens. Kimmy bouncing over the kerbs. And slow on the apex. That went well. Little switch back on Kimmy. Daniel's now going to have the inside line. Kimmy's still there, is he? Oh no, he's back there now, Kimmy. Okay. Well, maybe try and force Daniel offline. That's not going to work. So I'll go up the inside of him instead then. Oh, he nearly turned into me then. Leave him some racing room. Kimmy's now alongside us. Bounce over the kerbs. Get some underfloor damage, probably. Lovely stuff. Well, at least we're up to P13. It will be our tyre wear that's the deciding factor in this Grand Prix. And I have a funny feeling we'll be doing three stops. We do have another set of new softs to go to. Robert's kind of holding everybody up now. Managed to get, they've managed to get past George Russell, at least. Well, it's actually up into P9 now, I think. I think George might be carrying some damage from a tussle with Robert, because they are slow around some apexes here. I know it's Seb that's got the damage. Maybe. Oh, God. Yeah, Seb's got the damage. Seb's pitting. Like, Ricardo's not... Well, he's not pulling away because he's stuck behind... They're stuck behind the Alpines. But they're kind of where they are. Not really pulling away too much. And the guys behind are falling back. I just can't catch George. Kimmy and Tsunoda having a battle now. I think Kimmy might have picked up some damage if he's dropped that far back. Kimmy might have picked up some damage off his teammate. Esteban Ocon in the pits in the Alpine. Not sure if that's for damage or a genuine stop for tyres from Esteban. Let's find out. Because he was in a bit of a gaggle with everyone. Nope. Just Seb and Carlos Sainz so far that have pit for damage. Stop for tyre wear for Esteban Ocon. Where did he start? Seventh, yeah, so... The front runners are starting to pit off their worn, off their worn Q2 rubber. We'll get George now. Robert's down to P9. Daniel's just taken him. He's going to go defensive. Let's go right the way around the outside of him. He's still there. I'm going to have to leave him room. He's hit me. Thanks, George. Appreciate that, mate. I left him loads of racing room the whole way around, so... Right, loads of room. Loads of room. He hit me. Now the gap to Eilot has... The gap to that gaggle in front has shrunk as they've been fighting amongst themselves. Robert dropped to the back of this group and he's now... Whoa, at the front of this group. All right, they're all pitting this lap then. in the pits. Robert in the pits. So we're going to pit this lap for a set of mediums. Push now. We're boxing this lap. P7 stopped the count red flag. <laughs> That'd be nice. Mediums, please. Mediums, please. We'll drop a, ha a fair few positions, but... Decent Go. stop, 2.1 seconds. Daniel's gone to softs again. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. We've actually undercut our teammate. We've undercut... Wow. Did he get stuck in traffic or what? I don't know what's happened to Schwarzman, but we've actually undercut Robert. And Eilot's behind us as well. Have we undercut Robert and... Or overcut even? We've undercut Eilot. Sorry. We've overcut Eilot and Robert. Wait. Apparently it doesn't... I don't have a pit window. Hi, Robert. Oh, that's a big lockup. He wants me to go to the end on these mediums, which I absolutely am not doing. Me and Robert are just going to DRS off each other now. I'm not really too sure what the plan is or how far we could make it. 
Russ and Sonoda having a bit of a fight behind. Apparently I was within a second of Robert. I'll take it. We definitely are gaining on Seb, aren't we? Why is Seb going so slowly? He's on soft tyres. Oh no, Seb pit early, didn't he? Seb pit early for damage. So his soft tyres are going to be going off. That's why Seb's slow. He's coming to the end of his soft tyre stint. That, and I think he's stuck on another car at the minute. So now for Romeo. It's got to be surely Giovinazzi on his mediums. That's why, we're, that's why we're gaining on Seb by as much as we are. He's going for it, Robert. He's having a look. Don't break your front wing, lad. Yeah, he's Giovinazzi on his worn mediums. Seb is through on his worn softs. Hopefully it won't be long before myself and Robert are through on our relatively new mediums as well. Robert bounces across the kerb into Giovinazzi. Going to sweep around the outside of both of them by the looks of things. Make, leave some room for Geo. Okay, Tar then. Up to uh, up to 11th. They were too busy fighting one another. We'll just we'll just pick their pockets. Actually, that might make a good thumbnail. It's Gasly now in ninth. Ricardo's taking Gasly. And then there's Esteban Ocon in front of him. I'm going to try and get within DRS range here for the next next year or so, if we can. It says that he fucks that up royally. Although somehow, I do still have DRS. <laughs> now I've done that. So the minute the team reckon we can take these tyres to the end of the race. Good luck. But we'll definitely be going medium, medium, I think, rather than medium, soft now. Seb's soft tyres has definitely had it. Let's remember, these these tyres went on. He's not hitting it, though. These tyres went on on lap 14, basically. Oh, Seb. That's a stamp on the brake pedal there. Just to avoid running into the back of him, he got that out of shape. Oh, fuck my life. I'll go and put my, the throttle down and... I have to get right out of... Right out of it and actually brake there to avoid hitting the back of Sebastian Vettel. Even on his super worn softs, he can still pull away from me around that corner. And hey look, Robert's joined the party. We're literally just tag teaming our way through the field, myself and Robert. Sorry, Seb. Bye, Seb. He's going to fall back into the clutches of, uh, of Robert now. And Gas the gap to Gasly is closing, I think. So Gasly on those wall, I think, worn mediums. Robert is already past Sebastian. So the gap in front, we're in the points now, actually, in P10. But we should be gaining on both cars in front. At least Gasly, at least Gasly, if not both. Uh, I don't know who's leading, actually. For the Lewis is leading, so as things stand... Valtteri will still, Valtteri will still win the World Championship. The gap was 18 points prior to the beginning of the race. So Valtteri needs eight to guarantee the, the or nine? Eight or nine? Oh no, Ocon, you're right, Ocon didn't pit for damage, did he? Ocon, loads of people have been pitting for damage, but Ocon's was genuinely just a, a, a tyre wear change, wasn't it? So yeah, the gap the gap between Valtteri and Hamilton is eight points. No, sorry, eighteen points. 
So Valtteri needs to score nine to guarantee that Lewis with his current first place and a potential fastest lap, 26 points. Valtteri needs to score nine. So Valtteri needs to finish fifth or higher. 25, 18, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. Yeah, so Valtteri needs to finish top five. As long as Valtteri finishes top five, he's won the world championship. If Valtteri retires, Lewis needs to win or finish second with the fastest lap. There's not much between Valtteri... Well, there's not much between the, th the three of them in first, second, third. And there's also not that much back to uh, the Red Bull in fourth either, but... Back in fifth is a bit of a, a bit of a gap at the moment. Callum Eilat's on his way through. Just took Sunoda, or he's in the process of taking Sunoda. It's all changing mid race. It's all, it's all changing mid race. And Gasly is in the pits for what I believe is his first stop. I think that's Gasly's first stop. Indeed, it is. So we're up to ninth and tenth, on for a double points finish. Oh, Esteban, he's in the pits now for another set of tyres then. So we're up to P8 currently. Well, this race seems to have come alive. From feeling, and still, to be fair, feeling like I'm not that competitive at all. Robert will get me hand over fist there. We're actually now P8 and P9. Turns out, throwing the towel in and just retiring when I was having a miserable time in the first 10 laps was the wrong idea. We're actually having a half-decent race now. It's not costing us too much time behind. Callum Eilert still seems to be falling backwards a little bit, so... I think. I think that said six-something, and now it says seven-something. I'm not sure. We'll keep an eye on it, but... I'm going to try and hang on to my eighth place. Daniel... Whoa! Daniel Ricciardo in the pits for what I imagine will be his last stop. Unless he's going soft, medium, medium, soft. Which he might be, to be fair, he might be. 41 seconds to Lando. Jeez. Daniel's already with us. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's quick. Or Jesus Christ, I'm slow, or probably both. Yeah, half the track's empty, isn't it? Ahead of me all the way to Lando. There's like half a lap between the front runners and then and the next gaggle. You can end up letting Daniel through if you're not careful, Robert. He'll have DRS again. I'm not gonna fight Robert too much. I can't fight Robert too much. Can't even fight Daniel too much, I don't think. And so from seventh to ninth. Ocon has taken Eilat, you're right, well spotted. Yellow flag somewhere, end of the next, end of the second straight, not sure what for. Fucking hell, I think it's just people lap. I think it's just people lapping the Haas. Oh no, it's a Ferrari, a Ferrari's going slowly. Ferrari's going very slowly, Charles Leclerc is out. Charles Leclerc is out. And that's why lots and lots and lots of smoke coming out the back of his car. So the minute Checo leads from Lando, leads from Le Bottas, leads from Lewis. So Bottas is doing everything he needs to to win the driver's title today. Robert's, oh, Robert's in the pits. Hello, Robert's making his final pit stop Robert now as well then. I was about to dip in the pits thinking I might go a lap early. I'm glad I didn't because... <laughs> I'd have just ended up double stacking. Yeah, Lewis is currently fifth, but I believe it's because he's made an extra pit stop and the others haven't yet. Gap to car in front is 10.1 seconds. Not anymore, it's not. Gap to car in front is about 0.4. It's basically trying to lose as little time as possible there. Ocon's going to take me and disappear into the distance for now, but he still has one stop left. 
So he's gotten past me on track once, but because we'll be pitting to a fresher set of tyres any moment, he has to pit again, but he's probably going to be able to pit again for softs. So we'll probably close Esteban down a little bit during the course of the pit stops, but then once he pits again for that set of softs, he's going to be Rapidos. Absolutely Rapidos. So we're going to... We're going to fall behind Robert. We're going to fall behind Robert and, uh, and Gasly again. But we will be ahead of Seb. And Russell. Actually, Russell's just pits. So we're ahead of Seb. And actually, there's a Mercedes there. About to, about to come and lap us. But I believe Valtteri has to pit again. So we're in a bit of no man's land at the minute until a couple of others pit. Robert doesn't have to pit again. I'm curious to know if Gasly needs to pit again. Robert's only half a second behind him and may even take him into the next corner at the end of that DRS zone. Hopefully he'll have a go. I oh, know he's still half a second behind. Never mind. We're quite close enough. But I would like to know how many pit stops Gasly has left to make. Green flag. That's behind. Oh, it's Mercedes. It's Mercedes going slowly. Is that Valtteri Bottas retiring from the race? Is that Valtteri Bottas retiring from the race behind? I think it might be. I think it might be. Valtteri Bottas, championship leader out of the Grand Prix. Lewis needs to finish in the top two to win the world championship. If Lewis finishes first, he wins the world championship. If Lewis finishes, if Lewis finishes second and gets the fastest lap, he wins the championship. But he needs to win or come second with the fastest lap. Unbelievable. Valtteri Bottas will retire from this Grand Prix. And potentially from his World Championship too. A safety car would be nice. Four seconds allowed. Yeah, so we'll go up to P9 when we overtake Valtteri Bottas' now DNF'd car. We'll go up to P8 when Gasly pits, but then back down to P9 because there's no way that Carlos Sainz doesn't overtake me. But we're still on for a points finish as it stands. If there's a tie in the championship, if Lewis finishes second and there's a tie on points in the world championship, then it goes to whoever won the most Grand Prix. If they both won the most Grand Prix, or if they both won the same amount of Grand Prix, then it's whoever got the most second placed finishes. So we undercut, we undercut Ocon. Only by a, a couple of laps, but we did undercut Ocon. So we're P8 again. We'll be P7 when Gasly stops. But I've got two faster cars behind me, so I may yet finish P9. Fighting hard here. Let's try and keep position. Oh, God. Can't the sights just drive into the back of me? Virtual safety car. Carlos Sainz just drove into the back of me. The virtual safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on the track. Idiot. Thanks for follow, Bex. So we are fighting now with Esteban Ocon for P7. Probably not for very long, considering how fast that Alpine is. And then we'll have Pierre Gasly on softs and Carlos Sainz on softs, both trying to close us down to gain some more points for themselves. Lando setting fastest laps left, right and centre. The fuel is borderline to say the least.
Oh Christ. DRS. The gap behind us is 13.0 seconds. I got that all wrong over that curb. Horribly wrong. Thought I could just hang it in the middle, hang it up the inside here. Oh my god. Well, there goes Esteban. One mistake followed by another. I think you're right. Lewis leads the Grand Prix. I think you're right. I think Lewis does lead the Grand Prix. Lewis does, in fact, lead the Grand Prix. So as it stands, in the final race, with Valtteri Bottas retiring and Lewis currently P1, Hamilton will win another World Championship. Suppy, thank you for the follow. Don't do a Ben. What did Team at Marduk do? What did Ben do? That was a purple sector two, apparently. We've just swung through on Esteban again. That purple sector two has helped us close the gap and get back into seventh. Sorry, Esteban. Not all going to be your own way today, I don't think. Six laps to go. Still desperately holding on to P7. Esteban has dropped out of DRS range, though, for the time being, although he'll get back in now that I have to go slowly there. Don't rule Pierre Gasly out. The gap is now under five seconds back to Pierre. And with five laps to go, he absolutely could catch us between now and then. Fuel is so borderline, but it's it's not moved much the past few laps. It's been kind of stuck about 0.7, 0.8. But as the car gets lighter, it's taking less fuel to carry me around the track. Ah, oh, fuck. I bounced over that curb, and now Esteban's going to get me. Fuck's sake, one mistake is all it takes. I'm going to try and cling on to the back of him. Get him back again. You say Norris leading? Oh! Lando Norris leads the race! Lando Norris leads the race. Lewis is P2, and I don't know who currently has the fastest lap. Max has fastest lap. He does. Max does have fastest lap. So, oh, God. As things stand, with four laps to go, three laps to go, basically, as we're nearly end of the, the 50-second lap, Lewis Hamilton is currently... Set to be tied on points with Valtteri Bottas. And it would go down to whoever has won the most races. We're currently set for a tie for the world title. He has a Red Bull right behind him. If Lewis loses another position, then Valtteri wins the world championship. We are still in DRS range of Esteban. This fight for P7 isn't over yet. And... Look behind, Carlos Sainz on a charge. Carlos Sainz now up to ninth, past Gasly and on his way towards myself and Esteban. We could yet finish 10th. We've only got two laps of fuel left. I have seventh back though. Oh, God. DRS, I love you sometimes. Back to P7. We're fighting hard here at the end of this race. Very hard indeed. Fuel is actually going up. Fuel is actually going up. Or at least holding station. So we should be fine on fuel. Science is now right behind Esteban Ocon. With two laps to go, I just set my fastest lap of the race, apparently. DRS on Kimi would have been nice. I might get it in the next section, actually, if he holds off letting us through. I'm not going to get DRS. I'm not going to get DRS. Science has dropped back a bit from Ocon, actually. He must have made, gone for a move and, and balked it, maybe? Or did he catch the curb again, as he has done a couple of times? He has. Lando Lees, Lewis second, Checo third. Going for Lewis. 
Checo and Lewis battling it out. Lewis Hamilton needs... Thank you, Kimmy. Lewis Hamilton needs to finish second to guarantee standing a chance of winning the World Championship on countback, basically. Checo screwed himself. He's dropped, he's dropped a long way back. I don't know whether he... Got some damage from that bounce across the kerb. I'm sure it will close up now in this part of the track. Turns out, quite the dramatic end to the race here. For us, for the driver's title. Checo has taken Lewis Hamilton. Sergio Perez, P2. Lewis, P3. On the penultimate lap, lap. lap. Valtteri Bottas is dancing in the garage. I believe... Lando Norris wins. And yeah, on their last lap. Oh my god. And here comes Ocon. I can't. I'm too busy concentrating on what's happening to them. But we've got to concentrate on what happens to us. Lewis is going to lose the World Championship title. Lewis has lost the World Championship title on the last lap. I'm P7. I have a very antsy Esteban Ocon behind me and he's a very antsy Carlos Sainz behind him in a race we hate and Gasly's just there as well in a, a race we hate at a track we hate we're going to have a strong finish and we fought really fucking hard for this really hard for it Ocon and Sainz battling and have dropped well back. We're safe. We will finish P7 in the final grace, final grace, in the final race of the season. After a dramatic Grand Prix that offered quite a bit, we will finish P7. Robert will finish P6. Great points for the team. Has Robert Schwartzman earned himself? A drive for the team next year. Carlos Sainz gets driver of the day on the final race weekend. Lando wins. Checo second. And Lewis will probably look happy, but I guarantee you he is not. Losing the world title on the last lap. The opposite of his 2008 championship. I love that they've got Lando slam the, slam the bottle into the floor. So presumably, Valtteri... the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race. We've not had any. Well, maybe because so, Davidson, by three points, Valtteri Bottas wins the about, championship by three points, point thanks to Lewis getting overtaken by Sergio three, Perez on the final lap. We finish sixth in the constructors and eighth well, in the drivers. We'll take it. Thanks we'll take it. No, we'll no scene of Valtteri doing it donuts because he didn't finish the Grand Prix. But congratulations, Valtteri Bottas. He wins the Drivers' World Championship. Uh, not at all. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Uh, if one's a team sport, we all put an extreme amount of effort in. How do you feel about this team's performance this season? Alpine are all right. Your teammate beat you today. Was it a setup issue or something else? He drove better than me. Appreciate your time. I'll check most wins. I'll see who would have won the title had Lewis held on to that P2. Didn't earn driver of the day, unfortunately. But that is the end of the on track action for season two. Let's have a look. Drive retirement. Sebastian Vettel has retired. So, who won the most Grand Prix? Valtteri won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Lewis won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, Valtteri would have won the title anyway. Lewis needed to win that race. 
Lewis needed to win that race to guarantee winning the title. Valtteri would have won the championship on races one had Lewis held on to P2. So it was Valtteri's anyway. It was Valtteri's anyway. We got one fastest lap this season. That was at uh, Belgium. where We finished 17th, which was our worst finish of the entire season. One win. A second podium. A couple of three fourths in there. A handful of sevenths, an eighth, a ninth, and a couple of tenths as well. Ignore the fifth. We finished tenth in Bahrain. That is a very decent second season for us. There's a lot of off-season stuff to come. But for the time being, that will be the end of this YouTube video. The stream will continue, but for this YouTube video, I'm cutting it here and then we'll have a separate video just for the off-season stuff. So thank you very much for showing your support on Season 2 of the My Team uh, Save. If you want to ensure that you don't miss out on any more, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell and follow me on Twitch as well so you can see all of this live too. The video for this, for the off-season stuff, will come out later today because I'm live tonight for episode one, race one of season three in Bahrain. So make sure you join me later on this afternoon for episode one or race one of season three. But for the YouTube video, that's all for me for now. Thank you very much for your support on season two. I'll see you in season three.